Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve lead code problem 2058. Find the minimum and maximum number of nodes between critical points. Uh, before we start looking into the problem details and the solutions, uh, I just want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people who are preparing for coding interviews as well as Java interviews. On my channel, there are more than 200 solved examples coding questions which were previously asked by big tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Yahoo and many other companies and those were selective problems to cover different varieties such as binary search trees, graph problems, dynamic programming related problems, linked list, string related interview coding questions as well as BFS, DFS, matrix problems, optimization problems. So if you are preparing for coding interviews or Java interviews, please subscribe to this channel now your subscription uh, you can check out all the different uh, playlists and that will be definitely helpful in your job interview preparation so please subscribe it so let's go uh, through the problem statement a critical point in linked list is defined as either local maxima or local minima a node is a local maxima if current node has a value strictly greater than its previous and next node and local minima is current node value is strictly smaller than previous and next node. Note that a node can only be local maxima or minima if there exists both a previous node and next node. Right. So for example, uh, what they are saying is in this example one, right, uh, there is only two nodes actually, right. So it cannot be local maxima or local minima, right, because for local maxima or minima, there will need three nodes, right. And uh, at least three nodes right so here it cannot be possible so in this case we have to return minus one minus one right uh, so as you can see uh, there exist both previous node and next node so for one there is previous node but not next node and for three there is next node but not previous node right so uh, that is one constraint given a linked list head return array of length to containing mean distance and max distance between uh, where mean distance is the minimum distance between any two distinct critical points and max distance is maximum distance between any two distinct critical points. If there are fewer than two critical points, then we have to return minus one minus one, right? So, um, so for example, in this example one, there are no critical points, right? So we have to return minus one minus one because for local maxima or local minima, we will uh, to decide that we will at least need three points right one for every node there should be one uh, point which is previous and one next point right here there it's not possible so uh, this is the problem statement so let's just take this example to over here to understand what the problem uh, is and how we can solve this problem right so I just took this input uh, right and I just uh, Form the linked list from this input right this is the linked list which is formed by using this input right so uh, as you can see uh, the this is zeroth node right this is one this is two three four five six right so these are total seven nodes that are given to us in the linked list and we have to find out the minimum and maximum uh, distance between any two critical points critical point it means that it is either local maxima or local minima point right so for example in this case this number two is a critical point because it is a local minima right and why it is local minima because its previous and its next both are greater than uh, that number right one so three is more than one and two is more than one so it this is local minima so which means that it is a critical point right so local minima or local maxima is a critical point now in this case uh, this four position fourth is node five is local maxima right if you go previous is two and if you go next it is one right so both are smaller than five so this is local maxima right so this is also a critical point similarly the next point one this is a local minima right because previous point and next point are both greater than one right five is greater than one two is greater than one so this is local minima so either local minima or local maxima it is a critical point right and we have to find out the minimum and maximum distance between the critical points 
so for example in this given case if you look if you see right this is the minimum distance which is possible right this is 1 right 5 minus 4 is 1 and if you look here this is the maximum distance which is possible right which is between 5 and 2 so this is 3 right so we have to return that 1 here as the minimum and 3 here as the maximum right so this is what the problem is <coughs> is to find out the minimum and maximum distance between critical points and if there are no uh, local maxima or local minima points available then in that case we will return minus 1 minus 1 right because it's not available in that case so here how we are going to solve this problem is we will create like a, you know we will just create pointer like so once we find first local minima or local maxima we will just note that point for example in this case this one is the first point that we found right which is a critical point so we will note its location is 2 right and uh, whenever we are going subsequent uh, critical points we are finding then we will always keep comparing the distance right uh, minimum distance for example now 5 and 1 5 is also critical point so 1 is critical point so the distance between them is 2 right so this distance is 2 and distance between 5 and 1 is 1 right so we will just make make sure that we will note the minimum distance right so in this case uh, we will keep updating the minimum distance for example we will take one pointer and uh, we will always let's say prev prev is the pointer right prev is the pointer so we will al always keep count like uh, holding the value of prev so in when we reach, reach 2 we find a critical point so we will just mark it as previous is a 2 right previous will be 2 here so when we are seeing the next point 5 which is the index 4 then in that case we will calculate the difference between 4 minus 2 right which is equal to 2 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 and we will mark that it is a uh, minimum uh, that we have seen right minimum distance right we have seen so far is 2 right minimum is equal to 2 then when we go to 5 5 right then in that case prev we will update to 4 right before uh, going to 5 right because prev we will update to 4 now we are going to see 5 so again we will calculate the distance between 5 minus the prev prev is 4 now right 5 minus prev is 4 so the minimum distance will be equal to 1 right so we will update minimum distance from 2 to 1 right in that case and maximum distance will be the last index that we have seen right the last index of the critical point is what 5 right last index is 5 and the first index is 2 right so 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 so this is the maximum distance right so we will just output that into array form right and that is how we are going to solve this problem of finding minimum and maximum number of nodes between critical points uh, when we are given given a linked list right so let's just go through the implementation the uh, i already explained how we will be solving this right so let's just go through the implementation uh, details now so um, so I just created one mean distance and assigned it an integer's max value. Then I just created a pointer first, uh, like local maxima index or local minima or maxima, right? Or pre uh, index, right? I created pre index and first index, and one just is index where we are on basically, right? So pre will be the head and curve will be the head dot next, right? Because this is a linked list, right? So this will be initially this is pre and this will be cur right cur is the next right so this is prev and this is cur right uh, in the linked list right and then while cur dot next is not equal to null we wanted to loop through all the nodes right in the linked list so mm -hmm. we will always keep checking if we are finding a local minima or local maxima because that is the critical point right so how we will check we will check if current uh, points value if it is greater than previous value and current value is greater than the current's next value right in that case it is a local maxima correct because it is greater than both of its neighbors or it can be smaller than both of its neighbor in that case it is local minima so we will check that here current value is less than previous value and current value is less than the next value right so it is a local minima so in that case what we will do is we will just we, what uh, this first 
ma index pointer it will be minus 1 in the beginning right so uh, first time only we will put the first index here for example in this case uh, we will put 1 here right in the first my index because we wanted to see the first occurrence of critical point right to calculate this uh, maximum distance right first and last index we will need so we are using that first uh, ma index to find out the first pointer right so this happens only once right because we will change the value of first my index here and after that we will check if uh, preview my index is not equal to minus one then we will keep calculating the distance right because every time we wanted to find out the minimum distance so it is the mat dot minimum of minimum distance and current index minus previous index right so uh, what i mean to say is um, let's say current index is 4 right and previous index is 2 right so 4 minus 2 we will calculate there 4 minus 2 we will calculate right because previous is 2 here for 4 previous is 2 for 5 previous is 4 correct of the critical point so previously found critical point basically right that's what we are doing here the, we will keep track of the minimum distance we have seen and we will keep updating when we we are finding a distance uh, which is less than minimum right and then we will update our previous ma index is equal to current current index after that so this is just for the um, when i was debugging i just put system out after this if is done right if uh, we wanted to update our previous to the current pointer and current will go to current dot next right because that is how we traverse the linked list so this is where we are traversing all the nodes in the linked list right and we are incrementing the index here and uh, after we traverse the whole linked list right what we will do is we will check if the mean distance we initialized it to uh, max value right if it is still showing max value then it means that we did not find any local maxima or local minima in that case we have to just return minus one minus one right otherwise what we will do is we have this mean distance right we are keeping track of the minimum distance between any two uh, critical points right so we uh, always already found minimum distance here and for maximum distance we captured this first ma index right and preview my index will be showing to the last critical point right so uh, in this case the last critical point will be 5 here right so 5 is the last critical point and first is the this one is the first critical point so we already captured this uh, sorry not this one uh, so this one is the last critical point right for one and the first one is this one right so total distance we will calculate 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 right so that's what we are doing preview my index minus first my index to calculate maximum distance right so uh, let's just take this example and make sure that this works this is the same example that we have taken here so we should see now 1 and 3 right 1 and 3 we are getting here which is correct answer and here i just printed the previous my index right so 2 4 5 right as you can see 2 is here right the first one then 4 is here and then 5 is here right so all these indexes we just printed here um, so I'll just comment this part out uh, and let's take one other example this is a negative test case right where there is no uh, minimum or maximum like critical point so we will return minus 1 minus 1 here so let's just take this example and make sure this also works so as you can see we are getting correct answer here uh, so we already looked at the two examples let's take a look at this example also this should give us three and three so we are getting correct answer right so we can just go ahead and submit this solution so our solution got accepted Let's check the details so all the 139 test cases are passed and uh, on the memory side it is uh, it's hundred percent faster than other submissions which is very good and on the memory side it is 82 percent faster uh, which is good so um, this is the way we can solve me finding minimum and maximum number of nodes between critical points right uh, of the linked list uh, if you haven't already checked my uh, playlist there is a separate playlist called as link uh, 
like lean code and lead code solutions those were previously asked uh, interview coding questions by big tech companies like amazon apple facebook microsoft google yahoo and many other companies so if you are preparing for coding interview please check that playlist you know it covers like it covers the selective range of um, important problems like dynamic programming binary search related problems binary search tree problems graph problems linked list problems string problems dfs bfs and matrix related interview coding questions are also covered there and if you are uh, preparing for java uh, telephonic interview there is another separate playlist called as java interview that focuses on frequently asked java coding uh, java telephonic interview questions and how to answer those questions as well as java architecture related questions so please check it now uh, if you like this video and how it is explained with examples then please hit like and subscribe it your subscription is really important to the channel because that is the way the video can reach to more people who are preparing for java coding interviews or java telephonic interviews they can also watch these different uh, coding problems and you know practice these problems understand how to approach those problems and which data structures to use you know and how to uh, build the logic to solve the coding interview questions so that they can also get help by watching this video so please subscribe to the channel if you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video